Sorry, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Matt. In your response to Humaira, I, I believe, on uh, if Israel was safer today, you said that Israel has degraded Hamas apparently a great deal and so on. So I want to ask you, why the need to continue to bomb ten places and places where Palestinians are advised to go to for safe havens and so on with F-35s and bombs that are 2,000 pound pounds? So the, why, why is there a need to continue to do this kind of bombing? So I'm not going to speak to a particular to any particular decision about what kind of strike to use, but they continue to engage with okay. uh, Hamas forces in Gaza because Hamas forces continue to pose a threat. But Said, right. that just goes to the point that I was making, that they will never end the conflict in Gaza through a military response as well. Mm -hmm. It is going to take a political approach, it is going to take a different governance approach, and it's going to take an approach that means that something other than Hamas, and it can't be Israel, it can't be the IDF, but something other than Hamas is in Gaza governing. Mm -hmm. But the Israel continues to use these these bombs, these huge bombs. In fact, bombing a, a, a coffee shop in the West Bank, which is an area they control. They should not be bombing by, you know, area bombardment, uh, coffee shops, and so on. But you mentioned a point that takes me to my other point. Uh, Israel st seems to be cutting off the, nor the north of Gaza from the south. They're basically, uh, you know, what is underway is nothing short of ethnic cleansing. Now, you all along have said, and the president, I, I think the secretary said that. I'm not so sure whether the president said that or not. But uh, you don't want to see Gaza reoccupied. You don't want to see any part uh, of, of Gaza uh, reoccupied. Are you aware of these reports, and do you have a response to them? We have seen these reports. Let me uh, uh, state first very clearly that, no, we do not want to see Gaza occupied by Israel. We do not want to see the territory of Gaza shrunk in any way on a permanent basis. And when it comes to these reports, we are engaging with the government of Israel to find out exactly what it is they intend. But I will say, just generally speaking, we want to see people in Gaza be able to return to their neighborhoods, not being able to force to not being forced to leave their neighborhoods. Now, if there are Hamas militants operating underneath uh, an apartment building, before Israel launches a strike on that on those militants, I think you would want to see. Mm -hmm. The civilians evacuated. That would be something that, that would be a good thing for those civilians to see that they are out of harm's way. But it gets back to this broader point that I made, which is as long as you don't have a political path forward and you don't have a solution to the very real governance questions, it, you can k kill Hamas fighters, but other Hamas will continue to recruit other fighters and continue to put the Palestinian people in danger and continue to endanger Israeli security as well. That will give Israel a cause for continuing this war. I mean, nobody expected a year ago that this war would be going on at this time, but it is. And it can conceivably go on for many more months, maybe even years, and so on. What is the end game? What are you, in your view, what is the end game of Israel? We want to see a ceasefire that mm -hmm. brings the hostages home, that alleviates the suffering of the Palestinian people, that, um, that um, allows humanitarian aid to surge in to Gaza. We want to see um, an agreement on a political path forward that ensures that Palestinians can choose their own leaders and that Hamas does not continue to reign as a terrorist organization of Gaza over Gaza. And ultimately, we want to see Gaza and the West Bank reunited as an independent Palestinian state. Mm -hmm. 